Let's keep an eye on the fuel gauge. 2,963. How far have we got yeah. to go? We've got to go 7.7k. <laughs> I mean, if it takes more than 3,000 for us to just get up to the refueling island, then this thing is incredibly inefficient compared to the old one. I can't remember how much fuel we used to get to the island last time. I think it was around 15, 1600 to get from harbour base to the refuel island on the last iteration that we did it with. 15, 1600? I thought it was more, but I don't know. If we need more fuel, we can always stop off at Spy Cakes. When you two yeah, large props, Tim is right. I think another mortar will add more weight. It's important to look at weight versus power. Yeah, but they only ever tell you the weight, but never tell you the power. That's the problem. It's why these electric combots don't work since they nerf the motors. Even four small props would possibly Does that be better. fuel burn actually work at all? It's Wyland's crazy fuel burn. The problem is it doesn't, it doesn't like average it over time properly. Yeah, you should use that variometer I gave you yesterday. Yeah, I'm not linked to that. I did use it somewhere. Was it on the battery, I think? The battery trend at the back. Yeah. But, because it's, I don't know, it doesn't really show very much. Like, it's showing plus 0 0.000000, but if you look at the battery, it actually ticks up down again, see? Yeah. So, we need five decimal places. You'd have to Lua script it to a screen, I think, so you can get more digits. Left engine's at 30 Celsius, right's at 42. I, I, that blows my mind. That's not right. Yeah, it's just the way the fluid's flowing in the coolant pipes, I think. Do they not just go straight down into the water? Oh, um, I see how you've done it. No. Yeah, I'd have probably just had the, the pipes just coming out of the engine and going straight down. Yeah, I could do. It'll, tend, it'll be a bit more efficient that way. I can't actually shut down one engine at the moment. I'd have to provide a fuel cutoff valve to each one. Oh, please guess what I've got. Corn beef and pick. Oh no, you've got them watsits, haven't you? Flaming hot watsits. I still haven't been to a supermarket. Oh my god, you slacker. Flaming hot watsits or flaming hot Cheetos? Flaming hot watsits, the brill. Uh... Oh, have you, out. Have you have, ever had Walker's mix up? Yeah. It's basically like a bag of them, but just what's it? Nice. I'm not jealous. I reckon we're going to be a way more fuel efficient. How much have we used now? We started with about 3k, we're on about 2740. Are they spicy? They're like Walker's mix-up. Well, the top speed is down. They're not hot, they're just... I can't really describe it. They shouldn't be called flaming hot. Mind you... I say that, but I like hot chilli, so I don't know. Peppery, yeah, I guess. Um, When I'm happy with the boat, Big Stew, I'll definitely put it in the workshop. If you've ever tried Walker's mix-ups, though, they're exactly the same flavour. course correction here well at least you know worst case scenario we could make it to this island and refuel yeah you don't have what's this here but you do eat the heck out of flaming hot cheetos and flaming hot yeah you see they're a different flavor we left for 3000 right we're not even used 400 to get the spike eggs. Problem is, if we top our ship up with diesel from 
the south point, we're going to waste some money on it, and then we won't be able to make money with the jet fuel. Wait, what? You have to buy the diesel up where we're going. Yeah. yeah. And we ain't got that much money as it is. Ah. But we do need to bring some diesel back to the base anyway at some point. After a jet fuel run, probably. So what are you thinking? Well, I think we're going to use about 700 max to get to the refuel island. I reckon with the fuel we have, we can get there, come back, sell the jet fuel and get and make it back to the base. Yeah, but, I, I would think so. But we won't have any extra diesel. I think we could just steal some diesel from Spy Games. Well, you're going to steal them from yourself, but yeah. Well, it's easy enough. We'll just we'll do the uh, jet fuel run. When we've got some cash, then we'll just go back and get some diesel. We need to put all our cash into jet, eh? Yeah. yeah. And then once we've sold that, we'll have tons of cash. Loads of money. Assuming we make it back in one piece. What could possibly go wrong? Lots of things. Apart from everything, everything. No, you just gotta have a bit of confidence. If it goes wrong, I'll be the first to laugh. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, it'll fit in. Do we want to get us some diesel from here to move back yeah. or? Um, or do we want to get that now? I thought we were going to go and do jet fuel for it. Well, this ain't taking any money, so... No, just in the main tank. Just so we can move some fuel from here back to the base. Two thousand four hundred just over. So we used about six hundred litres getting here. That's not bad. Which is about what I estimated. Why are you going backwards? That'll do. Because I'm trying to get used to these electric oh. engines. <laughs> They're a bit of a fiddle. You've got to be really gentle with the buttons. Give it like a light tap. Um, that's, that's too far forwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you looking at a dial? No. Because yeah, <laughs> otherwise, if I look at the dial, I wonder where the hose is. <laughs> that's fine. I can tell you where the hose is. You just look at the dial and get the reverser set to zero. Oh god. Oh my god. So Come on. Stop there. If possible. Okay, that's about ish stopped. Um. <laughs> With electric engines, you really have to keep an eye on the, your reverser dial if you've got one. I need some more, some more cable. Thank God. Uh, is that enough? I'll okay. do. It. That's fine. <laughs> How much have we got in the main tank? Don't know. Hang on, I'm trying to get this thing connected. I can't lift it. It's always fun. Right, Paul, well, you're gonna have to do that because I can't lift it off the ground. You hold we've, E on it. Yeah. We've got 2393 currently in the tank. There you go. Um, well, it's just whatever we want to take back, you know? Yeah. Well, I don't know. There's, uh, the tank back at the base has got about 20,000 just under in it. Has it? I've had way less than that. It does have way less. Because I kept nicking 800 every time we were spawning a boat. I mean, I can teleport there and teleport back and tell you. Yeah, we're quick look. It. Oh, you're both gone. Left hand, meet right hand. Oh. <laughs> We've got 15 in the in this tank. 15k back at base? Yeah. Well, I reckon we're going to burn another 400 to there, 400 back. 400 there, that's 1,200. And then about, about 2k for our entire run, I think. So anything okay. left after that, we can pump out. So I'd say fill it up to about 10k. 
And then we can pump eight back into the base. Cool. Getting just under 1800 fuel per limit. Uh, per me liters per minute, even. Widgets per squiggle? Yeah, something. That lighthouse is effective. Oh, you parked a bit far off from you. It's a bit of a jump. Extend the stern help more to move the central mast to better points. The problem is, is like, try to imagine the boat at the moment. All the weight is at the back. Because, like, the two diesel engines there, the generators there, the electric engines there, everything is here. And then the fuel is there. And then comes the storage tank, then comes the ballast. So that's empty. That's empty. That's only got a bit of fuel in it. And that's got a lot of weight in it, which is making the boat do that. The moment we start loading it up with Jet A or anything else, it'll start to come back. I could rebalance it, but... And so, unless we move the engines into the middle of the ship, it's going to be hard to balance it without any weighting. Six, six. Yeah, well, I might. I, I do plan on putting a floating weight around. So I, I plan to have a weight on a sliding rail that I can move around. But more weight means more into the water, more drag. The generators line down the middle. Um, you can move stuff around, but it's more pain. Center of mass of the ship is about here-ish. It's around about here, and the engines are all back here, along with the cabin. I mean, another thing you do is just bring this cabin forward. That would move a lot of the top weight forward and bring the center of mass forward. So you could push this. You know, there's a lot of blocks here. You could push this forward. Also, you've got that winch hanging off the back. That's quite a bit of weight just hanging out the back, though. You go thrusters over props. Well, now we've unlocked them. We could do that, but I don't know how they perform. We could try getting rid of them and just put in thrusters. And just put in um, thrusters on there and see what happens. Why would we have water jets and a prop though? How much they cost? I don't know. I've been burning money making this thing. All right, we're coming up on 10k. Sure. That's 10. There we go. Read it in. All on board? Yep. With tank out board, you've lost half a knot in speed. <laughs> That's not bad. It's not bad at all. You watch when we fill the storage tank that the boat will come like that. You're not sure how they perform at low speeds. The bigger the props, the slower they turn, if I remember correctly, so maybe do four small props. Don't forget the smaller props have less actual pushing force. So we've gone from two giant to three large. If you go from three large down to small, you're probably gonna need like six small or something.
Why don't those horn buttons work anymore? They do. I was pressing them. Yeah, it works for me. Maybe I can't reach them. Oh, I was too far away. You can't reach from the captain's seat now. <laughs> Is the same rig done? Um. From a driving perspective, yes. From a flying perspective, no. Um, from a streaming perspective, no, because there's cameras and lights to adjust and OBS to set up. Why the switch from giant props? Testing, I guess. Just trying to figure out what works. Three large seems to be performing decently. With we've only got one motor in there though, that's the thing. One giant mo electric motor. And I do wonder what three mediums might work like. What's your view on student pilots having to learn checks off by heart? I'm having a friendly argument with my instructor. Uh, my view on, on checks off by heart is it's stupid. The moment you ask a pilot to memorize checklists is the moment they stop reading checklists. And the moment they stop reading checklists is the moment they rely on their memory. The moment they rely on their memory is the moment mistakes happen. The reason checklists are written down is so that you cannot fail to remember something. So you must always read checklists. Always. If you think you've got them memorized, you'll miss something out. So I would always have them written down and always go through them. I would never, ever try to memorize them. That's my view. They exist to stop infallible memory from failing. The only ones that memorize, they call memory items, the only ones are things like Frida checks and your pre landing checklist. Like, they're the only ones that you have memorized. Because you have, it's a mnemonic that you memorize and then you go through them. They're the only ones. I mean, I was told to, like, the pre-landing checks, I was told to memorise those. What you do, like, brakes, your undercarriage, mixture, fuel, instrument, carb heat, patches, harnesses, you memorise that. They're not hard to, you know, get wrong. They're not critical, shall we say. Yeah, Gumps is one way of memorizing it. There's a few. American has Gumps. Careful, pull the bridges down. Just noticed that. Any, any idea why? Because we're in an entirely different safe from the last time we came here. Hmm. I don't think the uh, cabin will fit under that. No, I don't think it will. And I think it will hurt if you try. <laughs> Actually, the cabin might, but the uh, horn on the roof won't. This is why I want to have... I'm going to have a system where I can tell it what speed it wants, and then it figures the throttle out for me. Because <laughs> all this <laughs> throttle dancing with electric is really annoying. You can just do it with a keypad. Also, I've noticed on the stream they've got our names mixed up, Jack. The game. Is the it? game. Yeah. Is I'm it? still on deck on Paul's stream. Oh, yeah. Even though I just opened the gate. Um. The one stood on that cargo hatch is me. 
But it's not, it's me, Jack. And, and it says that I'm up by the pump, but that's you. <laughs> well, multiplayer fixes. Right, how far forward do we want to be? Not that uh, far forward. Uh, oh, God, stop. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jet's back here. I don't know which one we want. The end one, the red one, right. right at the back, where, 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 or it's Jet, it? Yeah. You need a handbrake or something, Paul. <laughs> so, do you actually have a dial that tells you where the motor is set? Clutch. Ah, I see. Right, but it's on 0.2. Okay, and that's on 10. That's zero. How's that? Zero, zero. That do. And that's that's fine. Really must figure out a controller for these. What do you mean? Uh, Jack wrong one. I'll let you do that. You oh yeah. The other one. I'll let you grab that. I'm uh, gonna put that connector on deck. Which one we load in Jet A? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, the remote control, because you can remote control these, can't you? Yep. So we should figure Loading. one out. Nice. Look at the money going down. Bye, money. Frida and Hassel. The full yeah. Lot, the whole 35 grand. Yeah. Yeah, the ones I know are Frida, Hassel, and... The what? Well, the Monarch is like Gumps, it, but it's... It, <laughs> it comes out as Bumfitch. <laughs> Brakes, undercarriage, mixture, fuel, instrument, car piece, hatches and harnesses. Which is similar to Gumps, which is what? Gear, undercarriage, mixture, uh, props and something. Hassle is the one I always, like, kind of struggle with. Paul, have you saved recently? Nine. Nine times? Oh, okay. Nine. Saving. Okay, so what are we loading at? Not at a thousand. Um, I don't know. There's no dials up there on that. In theory, it should be the same <laughs> as our tests, but without the pump. The only one I remember is Frida. I've, I've only got nine hours, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're really good. I imagine it's the standard in-game pump speed. Which is Hassel like is the one that you use the least. You tend to memorize the ones that you use the most, right? So, Frida, you'll use when you do cross-country a lot. Um, the landing checklist, the bum fitch or the gumps, is the one you use a lot. Because every time you come back, you're going to be using it. But Frida, you'll use when you go longer cross-country, you'll use when you're out there at regular intervals. Hassel is only is one that you tend not to use because you only tend to use it when you're doing, you know, say you're going to practice engine failures or steep turns or something like that. That's when you'll look for the hassle checks because you want to make sure you're not near any built-up areas, you're not near controlled airspace, you've done all your look arounds. That's what hassle's all about. Yeah, so if you're doing stalls, you'll be doing hassle checks. But that's why you tend to forget it, because in normal A to B flying, you tend not to need hassle checks. And then when you come to do your, your research, you'll be like, oh, crikey, I have to memorize that again now. <laughs> Which I have to do my, I have to do my research in September, October, I think. My two years SCP is going to be up. Jeez, that was high. Yeah, well, I'll be playing flights on the new rig. Well. Yes. I've got, I've got my throttle on there. And I've got my um, uh, flight stick on there. If I want to put my yoke on there, it's not a problem. The problem is the rudder. The rudder pedals are the problem at the moment. In order to mount my rudder pedals on that rig, I'm going to have to drill through a centimeter of rock hard metal to drill two new holes so that I can mount the rudder pedals onto it. That's 3,000. Anyway, 3K. Okay. I've Puppies is bailing. I got camera No stamina. 
Don't worry, we'll tell all those rescuees that die now that it's because you had to go and do something. Yeah. Else. I said, blame me. Yeah. I see how it is. <laughs> and I thought we were friends. It's all right. You're going to enjoy yourself. We'll do all the work. Yeah. What do you mean, slacker time? I mean, if you want to carry on modding, I'll quite happily stay in and <laughs> I won't be called a slacker. I'm sure he's going to take you up on that offer. <laughs> Raw steel is a pain. I don't think it's actually steel. I'm not 100 percent sure what it is. It, it might be steel. It is going to be painful. Like it's going to murder the drill bits. I may even have to buy new drill bits just to get through it. And there's going to be a lot of heat to get rid of as well. It is, yeah, because I need quite a thick hole. It's probably a centimeter wide, nearly, and a centimeter deep. So that's a lot of metal. A diamond drill bit. <laughs> It's going to be fun. We're down to 18,000 cash. Yep, it'll be zero soon. Puppy has left the game and has gone slacking. Yeah, there he goes. Tam didn't take me up on the offer ball. What a surprise. Um, I'm not using WD, I'm using what they call it, XC90, which is well, a similar thing. Well, thanks for the games, and I shall catch you shortly. Okay, bye -bye. enjoy. Bye. Thanks for that. that <laughs> Such a scumbag. <laughs> Five thousand liters and fourteen grand left. I'll come and drill it if you want, Sammy. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't want to so waste your time and have you drive here unnecessarily. If you happen to be in the area, then that would be great. But, you know, I'm quite happy to have a go and see what I can do with my drill bits, which may or may not work out well with the single plate I have and can't really make a mistake drilling. But hey ho. You burnt out two medium duty drills. Oh, somebody's in chat as well. God, everyone's slacking and not doing any work. Oh, no, I know. They don't want to jump in and do anything. It's, it's the usual, you know, watch, hope, fun. You shouldn't do it like that. I'd do it like this. Yeah. Everyone's an expert. The plate with the rudder pole attached, if you've got a second set of rails where the movement happens, would it be easy to swap if you remove the entire sliding assembly? So, the way I've got the entire plate, there's a, the, the racing pedals are mounted on one plate. You pop the plate off the rig with four um, Allen keys. There's four, four bolts. It's easy. You pop the whole thing off. I have a second plate, which is identical. I mount the rudder pedals onto that. I can just put that on the rig, four screws, we're done. The problem is the plate doesn't have holes in the right place. The plate has holes for racing pedals. They never considered putting rudder pedals on there. And even when I get the rudder pedals on, I think the rake of it won't be enough. So my feet won't be able to press down on the toe brakes properly, but I won't know until we try. We're down to six grand of money and seven K of fuel. Yeah, I reckon we'll get about eight and a half thousand litres. Uh, can you not use some sort of special super glue? No way, Matty. You wouldn't, like, you would not. You're talking about your feet and pushing pedals here. You, you, you can't trust that to glue. Good morning, Castrator. How you doing, sir? Yeah, I can show you the plate.
cold and windy. Uh, I don't know, Sammy. I want to do it soon, sir. This is it. Might be easy if I tab out a second. Uh, this is the actual plate. And you can see it's got these four holes. One, two, three, four. They're what attach it to the rig. The rest of the holes and and sliders and stuff are where you basically mount pedals. So I can easily attach the rudder pedals like up here. But the problem exists here. There's nothing here. There's only like these four holes have been pre-drilled. And this is basically about a centimeter thick. And yeah, I have to basically drill some more of those, but in the right place. That's our fault. Roger. I'm going to need a heavy duty drill bit. Tuesday the 3rd. Uh, yes, potentially. How do the pedals attach on the bottom? The, pe the pedals bolt to that. The plate then bolts on the rig. All right, Sammy. Right, are you ready to leave? Yeah. Ship seems nicely balanced. How much have we got in the tank? It's 8-8. Eight, eight. You are on board, right? Yeah. I'm really happy about electric wine. Take it to engineer and get more slots water jet cut into the place. <laughs> you could do with access to a metal fabricator as water cutter for that. I do know one down in South End. But you'd have to like buck it in and tell them exactly where you want it and give them schematics. Yada yada. We're still doing 19.8 knots. That's not bad considering we just took 8,000 litres of stuff on board. So in the total loading we've done on board, we've left, lost two knots. With 10,000 fuel and nearly 9,000 storage. Yeah. It's like it goes 20 knots no matter what you put in it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you try to put a magnet on it? See if it sticks, if it's not hard steel. Uh, I don't have a magnet, unfortunately. Can't test that yet. I might have one on the tool some more. You would use screws on the top and tape on the bottom. The tape you can get. Screws on the top and tape on the bottom. Hey. I ain't, I ain't using a, w a wooden piece of anything on that rig. <laughs> it's all metal. <laughs> no, the, the best option is to just drill some holes and then use bolts. Uh, that way I know it's super secure. Uh, that's the way I want to go. I mean, I could just use some sellotape and cable ties and, you know, look great in the video. So here I am with this sim rig, 
P1X, all professionally mounted together, and for the rudder pedals, I got some sticky back plastic and some cable ties. Sounds small, I'll make it bigger, I'll help you the heat. I'm sure Somi's probably got some, like, super duper drill bit. So we've got, literally got zero money right now. Yeah. And if we can't sell this, rip. Um, yeah. Don't diss Blue Peter. Still Oz $10.60 per litre. That's yeah, we'll make a cash. $6 spread on it. We, we should get back about one eighty. Yeah. Actually, how much is in the tank? 88, basically 9. Oh, we'll get 90k back then. P1X. Demon. Like, I need to look at my MFG crosswinds, and I need to look at my Thrustmaster rudder pedals. Um, and I want to see how they would work on the plate, because I need to feed that back to Simlabs and say, you kind of need to put holes here so that they take these rudder pedals. But I don't... Until I put them on the rig, as I say, I think the rake will be a problem, because racing pedals... Racing pedals, like, there's the base, the racing pedals like that. So when you put your foot on it, you can push it down, right? With a rudder pedal... They, they tend to, like the MFG has a bit of a rake on it, like that, but it's nothing like a rudder pedal. So I think the metal base will need to be raked up so that you can use the, the toe brakes properly. But until I get it on there, I really don't know like what I need yet. So I'm going to be hacking it a little bit and then figuring it out and sending it back to Sim Labs and saying, this is what I think you need to do. Yeah, I'd rather not solder a bolt on because that metal plate, if you think about it, Datrick, that metal plate is, you know, they cost a lot of money. And if I want to change rudder pedals, let's say they break or, you know, I don't know, Virtual Fly comes out with some new rudder pedal and I want to try it, I want to be able to put it on that plate. So I don't want to fix anything to it. You think so, Sennington? Well, if you can find me that link, that would be great. It's very um, rear heavy, this boat at the moment. I think I'll probably move the cabin forward to touch again. This has got all that extra weight with the diesel engines in the back is pushing the back end down too much. Imagine like ship designers back in the day, they had to do all this on paper with log tables. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. Yeah, nav chart and a compass. No, I mean, when they were designing a ship, like, they couldn't just go in stormworks and faff around and go, does that work? No, does that work? No. Like, they literally had to work everything out. Yeah. And then try and build a small model of it. Imagine uh, all the you, weeks stood in front of a drafting table drawing up blueprints. You can, you can build boats, you can build helicopters, you can build planes, you can build land vehicles, you can get them off the workshop or build your own. There are so many on the workshop. And I mean some really cool stuff. Like somebody made a 757, I think. Somebody else made an Osprey. Um, they've made all kinds of military ships, rescue boats. Where um, are you heading to? Uh, the cell point? You're heading to the diesel cell point. Where, where am I going? Down. Just south of the base. South of the base? Oh. What I like about the game is you can mess about with control systems. 
That's fine. We've still got plenty of fuel. You, you can make your own logic systems, and that's super cool. Like, I've got, you know, things like you walk over that sensor, the door opens, it stays open for three seconds, then it closes. Like, little things like that. This cargo bay was interesting. I designed it because I wanted, like, I wanted the lid to come out the way and then the platform to come up to make it easier to load and then the platform had to fall away and then the lid closes but I wanted to do it off one button I didn't want you to have to you know move a lever to do this then move another lever to do that and then revert like it's literally driven by a button so you press the button and it just does it and it does it smoothly and then when the door comes down it seals the door up so you can develop your own little logic systems like that and it, I, I find that really fun Titanic sank. Legislators forced all ships to carry lifeboats. No, the, the problem. No, the, the the Titanic had lifeboats. The problem was, um, they didn't carry enough. They didn't take enough for the amount of souls on board. Yeah, after they sank. I see what you're saying. They basically forced people to load more lifeboats on the... And that sank the ships. We're not sinking, bro. We're fine. Just chop your water. What you're seeing there is the water glitching through the surfaces. It's not actually sinking. Like, if you look, it does, if you watch a wave come in like that it doesn't actually get above the edge of the boat but it kind of glitch the graphics glitch through and show it <clears throat> i did remove the white blocks here took them all out they're only up there now i'm just going to move the cabin forward when i get it back in the editor but we need to make some money You know how it goes super laggy and slow when you're in the workbench? Good thing. Thank you, Nice Owl. Yeah. It does the same thing when you're looking at the map, too. What, so if I look at the map, that slows you down? Yeah, I'm super laggy now. That's just a game issue, isn't it? Yeah. Anytime you're looking at something that isn't the game world, it just slows. It never used to do that until the Deadly Server came out. It didn't do that until that update yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> New York trip next week. First time to USA. Not far off now. Don't forget to fill your Esther out if you haven't already done it. Any recommendations on what to see in the USA? Go to the um, go to the World Trade Center. Um, what do they call it? The I can't remember. That. There's there's a, the tower that you can go up. That's a really good thing. And then just go to where the, the World Trade Center used ground to be. Zero. And the, yeah, Ground Zero and the museum. Go that. Go see that. It's really good. I really enjoyed that. Is the fire engine still in there in the museum? Uh, I don't know. It's been a few years since I've been. When did you go? I've, I've never been, but I, I saw when the opening ceremony they had one of the fire engines that was trapped under the rubble and the tower cut. They had it in there, all mangled and stuff still. Yeah, go to the top of the tower as well. That's really good. But when you get near the top and they let you out, they're trying to sell you iPads and stuff, just ignore it. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, for an extra twenty dollars. Like the the way they've managed to merge the whole thing is is a little bit too much for me. Like they charge you to get in and then they charge you when you're up there to say, Do you want to get an iPad and you can do this like virtual reality thing? Ugh. You have a seven four seven there and a triple seven flight back. I think when I go to Vegas, I'm going to be on a triple seven, actually. Oh no, I'm on a Dreamliner. I like the Dreamliner. 
A train ride to Philly. That's something I haven't done in the States, is take a train ride. gonna say what speed boost we get if we burn more fuel twenty seven knots so when you're in a hurry and you don't mind wow. wasting fuel you can make it happen nice boost mode yeah but yeah the fuel burn rate's higher if only white and sting work we can actually quantify it it kind of looks like two point eight or something yeah, it does seem to be mostly on two point something, eight, nine. Yeah, you look at that fuel burn rate, that's, it's a massive increase. Yeah. <laughs> it went from 0.5 or something to 2.5, like it was five times the, the burn rate to get an extra seven knot. Yeah. Wow. You're not missing much, the Amtrak is horrible. Well, if you, actually, now that you're running electric motors to power the props, you could probably drop down from a large engine to like two medium engines and that might be more fuel efficient. Possibly. It's testing all the different configs, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of different combinations you can do. Right, are you going to be running inland? Yep, I can do. Um, we're not far off the bit where we usually do it. Yep. I think it's around about here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, just here on the left. Seems right. There's something else I need to fix. Well, technically, one the diesel stops, the generation stops anyway. Uh, is there open multiplayer? There's two. There's like you can play on your own, right? You can play with friends if you host the game. You host the game, they join on you via Steam. Or now you can fire up a dedicated server, or join somebody else's dedicated server. However, the dedicated server's only been out two weeks, and it's a bit sketchy. It works, but... Put it this way, I tried to create a save game in the game and load it into the Deddy server, and when I go to save it in the Deddy server, it crashes it. And since it has no log file, you have no clue why. Like, you need to let the Deddy server create its own save game, which means starting again, unless you're running creative, I guess. Why parts here? Basically, Jack is bringing the hose over um, so that we can pump out jet A fuel and sell it. It does have a hose that's just about long enough. It's not infinite, it's about that 200 takes a meters. a long time to reel out that entire hose length. It really does. It, it's, it, you have to hold it down as well. Yeah, but not toggle. <sighs> so have I you have to, reamed it, it all out? Yeah, it's all out now. And then I can ram it over. Because you're supposed to fly fuel in, interestingly enough. Oh, dropped it. Up, down, release, down, left, right. When we get round to planes, we might want to build an air tanker for jet fuel. Flying fuel around so efficiently. Yeah. Um, can you grab that? I, I keep dropping it. Where are you? Oh, where's it gone? I oh, see it. Here. Okay, let's see if it'll follow me. It's coming. It's slow. There you go. Um, uh oh. Oh. 
Is that the full length? I don't know. Might be. Looks, it looks like it, yeah. I think maybe it's not fully out. Shit, it stopped uh, reeling. Let me just double check. Unless we're just not in the right part of the island. Uh, this is the closest to it, unless it's slightly further forwards. I mean, you have to move the boat a little bit closer anyway. Going through redundancy, night out. Dude, it's not a problem, mate. You sort yourself out. You've got enough stress on your plate without worrying about people like me. Yeah, that's all the cable I can give you. Oh dear. Well, they must have changed it. Because this used to extend about another 10 meters out to sea. And I don't think this is long enough to fit onto the boat. Uh, the most direct route I can go, I come out to the point where I'm stood now behind you. Okay, this is what this is how far I can get it where I am now. So if yeah. we can get the boat over here... Yeah, get the boat right up on this bit of shore. It might be. I'll stay here as a marker. Okay. If you can stand where that is. Steadily. Just put like 0 0.01. And nearly, nearly. A little bit more. Let's give that a go. Let me just grab the nozzle. Oh, actually, it's right under the boat. I've grabbed some diving gear. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Gelas, thank you very much for gifted night hour sub. I'm sure he appreciates that. Thank you very much, Gelas. Mr. Andrew and Bruders, welcome um, back, guys. What? I died? You died? I glitched into the bottom of the boat and just died instantly. Oh. Well, rip. Yeah, I've got no way of getting to you. Actually, I know what I can do. You've probably got the diving gear on still. No, I don't. Because I died, it takes your clothing off. I've got to somehow get past the fuel thing without connecting it to that. Yeah, the problem is we used to connect it to the side port. Which was a bit lower. Done it. Awesome. Money's going up. Yeah, I can see it. Nice. Money, 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 money. Total hacks, Battle Rabbit. Total skill is the word you're looking for, not not hacks.
That is going to take a while. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't edit the uh, the cell points. It'll stop them being cell points. Really? I think so. I have not worked out a way of making it so they still activate. Probably a setting somewhere you have to sort out. The anchor's down. Awesome. I'll probably forget when I come to drive away and I'll hell break loose. <laughs> I don't know where the scuba suit is. It might be at the bottom of the uh, of the water. And I'm back. How much did it cost to spawn that? Nothing. I already had it spawned in. Oh, that's good. I left it over on another island. I figured it would be better to start leaving these vehicles out. Um, that op you know the option they added on the servers to despawn on leave or something? Yeah. It's actually not for the player, it's actually for the vehicles. So if you spawn vehicles, right, and that option's on, when you leave, it despawns all those vehicles. Wow. And they put that in because they had, like, people who run in servers, people would join them spawn a lot of vehicles and then just leave them and disappear yeah and it just leave a mess and you don't know where all the vehicles are yeah i mean i can understand why they've done that it's just that they did say they were going to be adding a feature whereby when players disconnect their bodies disappear so i mean i don't know where that feature is lag is real what lag I could just leave that park there for the time being. How much money made from this run? So, um, Jet interestingly, A. Interestingly, all of my bays for scuba gear are empty. Are empty? Yeah, I've got no scuba gear aboard. At all. All? Well, that's probably because you keep dying and losing them like you just did on this one. Uh, Jet A, you buy at $4 you per use liter. You scuba gear this time around. And you sell at $10 per liter. So you make a $6 spread. So every liter we sell, we'll um, we'll make six dollars. Um, we should finish on about ninety thousand dollars, I think, from about thirty-ish. I mean, we've got seven and a half thousand left. Times that by three. Uh, that really times that by six, and that's about what forty-two dollars. So that's forty-two k on top of the thirteen. Mm. I'll probably end up with about 60 or 70, maybe. Do you remember the um, the run in circle you could do on um, Construction Simulator? Yeah. You can actually get a tighter circle on this. Oh, no, we're selling at $10, <laughs> not 6 oh, Yeah, th so the 73 k worth, though, because we sell at $10. On top of the 15 we've already got. So yeah, 88, needed 90. The only problem is it takes a water pump because it's like a 200 meter hose. <laughs> and you're supposed to land it. Yeah, left leg leap. <laughs> you can do 360 no scopes like that. Nice. I think you can even do 720. You have to get a bit of height. <laughs> Are you able to walk it's around like inside the bottom that. of your boat? Um, I didn't really design it that way. Like, it's all cargo storage. There's, um, the main, the main fuel tank is, is here. Ish. The storage tank is about here. And then this bit is all cargo to here. And then this front bit is ballast. I can kind of show you if I do this. It's not the best thing in the world because you can't really control the zoom but i can I'll give you an idea there's the cargo there and underneath the cargo that really shows that is it okay it's in the water so yeah it's not that's the that's the aviation fluid at the bottom there 
Um, the engine room is here, and then the fuel room is there, but it won't let me zoom in anymore. There's the engine room there. You could, in theory, make a hatch to go down here, but there's nothing really to do down here. And then this is a cross-feed system, so... Um, at the moment, you can see the fuel tank's got fuel in it, and the storage has got 6,600. And that's being pumped out. This is Jet A, so we don't cross-feed it back into the main tank, but if this was diesel, you could cross-feed it in and out of here. There's the ballast at the front, which at the moment the ship's fairly level. But if you wanted to bring, the, if you wanted to bring it down, you could basically pump water into it, and then the nose will gradually start to do that. You can look around in photo mode. How do you access photo mode? Have you used it? And having a bit of ballast actually does give you a bit of stability because it keeps the nose from bobbing around like this. Yeah, I found a jet engine in law, Trucker J. We didn't use much fuel getting back here with that full load of uh, jet. Um, what we got? We got eight, point, eight, eight, eight three. Eight, three. Well, we filled it to ten or nine. We filled it to just over ten. Like just over. So 1700 to come back here with uh, 9000 of jet. I estimated 3k is what we'd lose, but it looks like we're going to lose two. Yeah. Um. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but it won't let you go inside the object. Oh, yeah, it will. Ish. Okay, so there's the engine room. This is the fuel tank. That's our current fuel. Which has, what, 8,000 litres? So you can you kind of see H how big the tank is. Dialogue box. You what? Press H to get rid of the dialogue box. Um, this... Here is the storage area for the for the jet A at the moment, and then this is where the pumps are, and then this is the front ballast that we just filled up a little bit. You can see it's got some liquid in there. So that's what the hole looks like. Uh, is the end game to have as big as ships? It depends if you're playing it in career mode or sandbox mode. If you're playing it in career mode, then, you know, there's a whole bunch of missions that you can do. Uh, they will give you research points, and then you can unlock tech using the research points. We've got all these unlocked. Um, there's still some left. However, they're getting rid of this whole research thing in the future. You know, you won't you won't be doing this. And instead, they're going to give you more interesting missions to complete. So the kind of approach at the moment is do missions, get research points, unlock more tech, do more missions. But there's only about 20 different ones, I think. The future looks like this. You can access all the tech from the beginning, but obviously you're throttled on money to some extent because you need to buy components when you build things. So, you know, when you buy a propeller... And put it on a boat it'll cost you like whatever six grand 12 grand if you then despawn the vehicle you get that back into your inventory the next time you use that propeller it can go on a different vehicle and you won't have to pay for it because you've got one in stock so you're kind of throttled on money in that sense um and to get money you need to do missions but what people are finding or players are saying is they're a bit frustrated because they can't spawn creations in that they've made in creative mode because they don't have components unlocked, which they find annoying. So they've said, right, we'll get rid of the whole component tree, we'll get rid of the tech research side of it, and just have better, more interesting missions, and you can use whatever creations you've got within your budget um, to solve the missions. 
which is probably the right way. I, I don't personally think they should have ditched the tech tree entirely, but that's the way they're going. It's like Kerbal Space. Like Kerbal Space, if you played that in career mode, when they introduced the whole science stuff. Like, I, I guess, thinking about it, that's when I stopped playing Kerbal. Not long after they introduced the science tree, because I found it a bit frustrating. I kind of liked it in sandbox mode, just making things and making my own missions, I guess. I, I kind of created my own lunar space stations and stuff that I would fly to. And I, I much preferred doing that. So I guess they're taking the same view. They're saying, well, Kerbal was annoying for the same reason. Bang. Hmm? I'm all right. You like how Space Engineers did it. The tech tree is an option when you create the world. You can enable or disable it. There's only, th I think there's only like three devs though, so they have to decide where they want to put their efforts. Uh, Guang, welcome. No problem. Gives you more room to make more solutions. I think that's the, I think that's the problem. Is early game you don't have access to lots of components that you know will do the job better. Normally you think research trees are for microtransactions. Not in this game. There aren't any. One half K left. Oh, we've got more money than we started with, so that's that's a mini victory. Yeah. Also save it so we don't have to do all this again. Oh. This crashes now, Jack. Oh god, don't. Why would you do why would you say that? <laughs> Stop tempting fate. It would have also saved anyway. Yeah, like six hours ago or something. No, I think they actually also saves way too frequently and you can't even change it. That's that's one thing that they could easily add is an option to say how often to, to auto save. Yeah. When you create the Stoneworks game, I think you can unlock all the technology. Yes, if you put it into into sandbox mode. There's a, like a list of options. There's a list of tick boxes on the right and then there's some presets on the left and you go, I want sandbox mode. Everything's ticked. I want career mode. A bunch of things are unticked. I want hardcore survival. That's like survive. That's like career mode. But if you die, you're permanently dead, and it deletes your save. Should I start with fuel and everything, or go easy first? Um, if that trick, if you've only just got the game, you might want to not play it on advanced mode. It's up to you. Advanced mode means you have to deal with engines in a more complete way. With advanced mode, you have to deal with coolant and fuel and power and air. In non-advanced mode, you don't have to worry about coolant and air intake. It's like fuel in, power out. Yeah, that's an option. Whether you want to go for advanced initially. The fuel thing is a checkbox. If you check limited fuel, every time you spawn a vehicle, it will have no fuel in it. I wouldn't do that initially. Advanced mode isn't really that hard, but it is a lot more interesting. If you feel brave, just go for it straight away, but don't have limited fuel. Because initially you just want to mess around. I mean, just put it in creative mode and do what you like. Learn how to use the game first before you even go near career. I'm going to try to turn the pump off and on again just to see if it gives it a kick. Yeah. Sometimes it does. If you turn it off and on again. <laughs> Well, we started with nearly nine, wasn't it? So it's gone through more than half. Yeah. 
I need to remove physics from the fuel hoses. They're too annoying. I think the way fluids are handled at the moment, um, and this is true of Factorio as well, fluid handling is a complex thing. It really is a complex thing. And even the Factorio devs struggle with it. And I think it's no different here. But yeah, the, the, the kind of hose physics needs to be improved. In the early days of my summer car, the hose physics was really, really glitchy. Um, and it kind of reminds me of that. Like you pick up a hose and it glitches on things and the end connector sticks inside of polygons and it's just, ah, this is annoying. I'm just glad you don't have to worry about food and drink and stuff. Oh god, that would be terrible. This Full platform. survival mode, you have to grow your own crops to eat. Oh my god. <laughs> this this height here, I need to change. Like, for some reason it thinks that zero is 0.0128. I don't know why. Oh, we're getting cold. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Oh, I did briefly. What? What's up with a heating element here? Oh, yeah, I did. There is. Yeah, there's a heating breaker right there. Which you throw and it puts the um, light on. Yes, I'm, guess top. I'm guessing that drains the battery quite nicely. Um, A little bit of drain, yeah. But then you can always just run the engine for a bit. Oh, tick ready. That's what this is. So no coffee maker, I'll note. Uh, that's puppies. All we can do is pick him up and just put him in bed. Puppies is in bed, yay! Surprised you didn't throw him in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, he doesn't get a bed. He gets one of these comfy little padded seats. Did you hear that, pups? I gave you, like, four-star bed. Jack gave me a one-star seat. And yeah, you don't even have enough headroom. Look at that. That's how much of a scumbag he is. That was actually the child's seat. Oh, wait, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you can tell it's a child's seat because there's no headroom. Yeah. Well, he fits <laughs> in just nicely, actually. His head has got just a bit of a gap. <laughs> oh, dear. It just needs a little kitty harness, doesn't it? Little booster seat. <laughs> I've got this dream at some point of having these beds on motorized sliders. And so they basically hide out the way when they're not in use. And then, you know, if you want to get in bed, you press a button, the bed comes up, you get in bed. But I've also got this thought about having it so that the bed retracts and you go to sleep in the engine room. You could rotate them around. It was not really such a visual thing. It was more just hiding yourself away for fun. Because if I rotate them, it'll just glitch into the walls and stuff. Well, having them slide away could be interesting. I swear my boat wasn't facing that way when I arrived. Uh, where is it? No, it wasn't. It's that's so that's the sea around. for you. Shall 70 grand in the bank. Noise. You just recovered from some dental bone graft left. surgery. I want some lighting out here. Like, I need to put some lights on deck. It's, it's yeah. just, just nothing out here at night. You can't see anything. Some work lights would be good. Yeah, the problem is, like, in lights in this game are either too bright or too dim, or... Yeah. You need something in between the indicator light and the full light. Just something that lights a little bit early for a few meters. Then you could put deck lights all along and it would look nice. Well, if you do them in a different colour, like you could do them in yellow and have them as a dark yellow, and they'll yeah. sort of have a bit of a glow to them rather than direct blinding light. Yeah. But on the when you're light um, painting the lights with the the light paint color 
I tend to go with black to make the white light look dimmer. What, as in you paint the surface black? You paint the... Um, Outer casing. Um, no. Not the bulb. The, the other paint mode that you use to paint the actual bulb additive. itself. Yeah, additive. When you're in additive mode, if you use black, it makes the white light a very dim white light. Yeah. Yeah, no, you can use colour to dim it down. It's just, like, why can't you just put a light in and then there's a slider that says how intense you want the bulb to be? It would be yeah. so easy. If you used an RBG, you can always change the colour. An RGB, you, mean, you can always change the colour. Use the BRG. Yeah, the BGs. Get that to do your lighting. It does bug me the way the pump slows down over time. Yeah. So what's the battery level? I'm not sure what that's about. So the battery's almost full, so it's not a it's not a battery problem. It's not the pump not getting enough power. Unless it's the pump or no, hang on. Is there a pump on the gantry? I don't think there is. On the gantry, I don't know. Maybe this no, ship pump the... is doing the whole work. Yeah, it might be. There was some kind of switch. I can't remember what it's for, though. If you flick that and it pumps ten times quicker, I will cry. <laughs> yeah, before Factoria no, for the day, level no 16 robot. Anything. There's... Mm. there's a flip switch that says radio control. But that's ah, it. you're going to get dental implants. What does, this, what does it do? Enables the radio control, so you can control the gantry from from another surf, another. Well, we've been pumping all night, and we're on less than a k now. I can almost see inside the gantry's area where the pipes are. I can see a fuel filter. I guess that's so you can't pump anything else in here. That would make sense. I've got a fuel filter on the main tank here. Be a sneaky way of doing it. Go and pick up some uh, really cheap diesel or crude, and then bring it down here to sell at the A1 price. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. <laughs> Don't really need a searchlight. We've got some yeah, bright lights in front. There, though. These lights here are pretty good, and we've got keel lights as well. They're they're quite bright. Just put the keel lights on. They give you really good underwater lighting. And they've got the nav lights on. You got these? They're pretty bright. I have kill lights as well. Yeah, they're useful when you're like going over the top of something, you have to dive down and rescue or pick something up or whatever. Yeah. Build your own refinery. It's not really about that. Like, that's just scope creep. It's not that kind of game. It's supposed to be about doing rescue missions. The fact they added fueling in is just to facilitate you using limited fuel. So you have to go and buy your fuel. And selling fuel is a way of making money. But refineries? That's kind of going a bit off piste, I think. Uh, can you attach lights to the angle side of a light so it points 45 degrees? Well, if you get the search lights, it will rotate and tilt. You can always make your own, put your own pivot, put the lights on a pivot block, and then you can just turn it however you want it or pitch it. You can have things that spin around if you want. You know, you can have your own, looks like a radar scanner. You can do it all. If you can think it, you can pretty much do it. Yay, we're nearly done. 91 grand, get in. Can end up on 92, possibly. Yep, there it is. Done. Yeah, do it all again, Pog, lol. Yay! Well, that's a bit of cash in the bank. Um... Are you going to go and reel that in? Oh, I suppose I'll have to.
Hold on, Actually, get this thing. Can you lift it and bring it up the mountain? Otherwise, it'll just glitch out. Oh god, where is it? It's just oh, the side of the boat. So while I reel, you can sort of help it bump up. Reeling now. There you go, it's right next to you. There you go. You know what I could do is um, on the next version of this fuel rework, I could build uh, like a little relay part down on the rock face down there. Oh yeah. So you could just then connect up to like a relay line down there. Oh, yeah. Uh, anchor. A life line. <laughs> well, you were right. You said you'd forget and you did. I, I, yes, I knew it. I need to put a safety mechanism in. Yeah. That like says if the mag thing's on, don't don't allow movement. Oh, that's a drive off without me. You've got your own boat? I already put enough fuel in it to bring me over. Oh, I didn't know. I'm going to turn around. I just assumed we were driving back in there. No, I thought I'd just leave it floating here, see where it ends up. What, really? Yeah. No point despawning it, as to, otherwise it just costs us to get it back out again. Yeah, but if you just leave it, I mean, we paid for it, so if you despawn it, won't it put all the components back in the inventory? Whereas if you leave it in the world, we'll never get the money back. Um, I guess I can test that quickly. Uh, or I can just die. <laughs> you died again? You turned into Rome? <laughs> yeah, I've been infected with the Rome virus. Okay, well, um, no point in me staying here then. Nah, you can head back. Are you going to get another fuel load, or are you going to... Oh no, I'm bringing it back. Right. Because you want to grab some diesel to bring back. Um, well, we've got we've got 8,000 uh, 8, litres of diesel on board here. Oh, okay. so, so if I bring this back, and we can just pump this in back into the main tank. Yeah, that'll do for a top-up. I've cleared the bay. I can't tow it, Pug, because Jack despawned it. It's not an option, puppies. We got just under fifteen thousand liters here. Well, we'll have twenty. Well, let's see. By the time we get there, it'll be about seven and a half, I reckon. Mr. Harrah, thank you for 23 months. Yeah, I could have anchored it. I could have, with the mag thing, it could have, um, we could have told it. Probably. Did your boat have a connector on it? Uh, one on the back, but not on the front. That lightning then. I moved the mouse and it hit the surface of the water as the light flashed. I thought I'd done something. <laughs> Yeah, the last thing you want is to get struck by lightning. It'll kill all your system. Next time you play a play game, you're creating a Vrom virus. No, a Vrom virus would just kill itself straight away. It would just die. The tower looks quite cool all lit up.
We're getting a 12 motor RPS and a 12 prop RPS and doing 20 knots. And if I change gear, that drops down, that stays at 12. There's just not enough power to turn the props quicker. Which, from two massive diesel engines, I kind of I find a bit weird. Quite far away up here. Nice. to pump this fuel out. Yep, it's coming down now. Is that maximum extension here? Yeah? Uh, no. Why isn't it extending? It looks it. No, it does go further than that. Oh, there you there go. we go. Turn it now. Turn it left. Yep. Okay, you can lower that. About there? Yep. That should do it. Okay, you should be able to pump that out now. Yep. Pumping. Noise. According to my dial, we're getting over 1,200 litres per minute. That's about what we expect, I think. Yep. So the light on the end of your uh, gantry is so ridiculously bright. Well, you know, if you turn bloom off, it does help. That's actually as dimmed as I can get it, that light. Yeah, it does help a little bit. I kind of think that if you could angle the lights out a little bit, so you, it would light a bigger area. Yeah. Yeah, it just look better without bloom. 